I have an important note I want to share with our viewers right now. Uh, earlier today, Larry King was scheduled to interview Senator McCain, and CNN was supposed to be running excerpts in the interview. Right now, it's sort of in prime time. However, a senior McCain campaign advisor tells CNN the interview had been pulled because of a segment that CNN ran last night during Campbell Brown's election center. The segment was about Senator McCain's running mate, Governor Sarah Palin, and involved this portion of an interview with McCain's spokesman, Tucker Bounds. Listen to this. Can you just tell me yeah. one decision that she made as commander in chief of the Alaska National Guard? Just one. Yeah, she has made any decision she has made as the commander of the National Guard that's deployed overseas is more of a decision than Barack Obama has been making as he's been running. Okay, so for tell me, for the tell last me what it is. Give years. me an example of one of those decisions. I'm just curious, just one decision she made in her capacity Campbell, as commander Campbell, in chief of the National Guard. Campbell, certainly you don't mean to belittle every experience, every every judgment that she makes I, as commander I, of the I'm National Guard. I'm belittling nothing. These, I, I just want to know mm -hmm. one one judgment or one decision. Well, I, I would love to know what one decision was. I'm not belittling anything, Tucker. I'm really not. I, mm -hmm. I just, I'm curious. As, yeah. As she makes a decision as to how to equip, how to command the National Guard of the in Alaska, that but is Tucker, more those are the Pentagon's more decisions. of a judgment That's than General Barack Petraeus. Obama's making on the That's campaign the White That's my only argument. No, no governor. No governor makes decisions about how to equip or deploy the National Guard. That, you know, when they go to Iraq, that those decisions, uh, actually, as you actually, well Campbell, know, are made by do. the Pentagon. Campbell, Campbell on, on a factual basis, they certainly do. In Alaska, if you if you have any sort of emergency, as things are happening in your state, the National Guard is under the command of the governor. That is more of a command role than Barack Obama has ever had. I would argue that on our ticket, John McCain and Governor Palin, between the two of them, have far more command experience in the military than either of the candidates on the Democratic side. And I do want to argue that this is about the top of the ticket. Ultimately, when people go into the ballot box and decide between Barack Obama and John McCain, they're going to decide between John McCain's record of reforming Washington and Barack Obama's rhetoric on the campaign trail. Doesn't have a lot of experience, certainly has no military experience, no command military experience, which both of our candidates have. That's an important distinction. I think voters will make the right call in November. All right, Tucker, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give it to you, baby. Uh, we'll end it there. Thank but you, I really I appreciate, I, I appreciate you coming on and taking the time to, to have mm -hmm. this debate. I think it's important. People, you know, don't know yep. a lot about her and they, they want to understand uh, her qualifications as much as possible. We're not beating you up here. We're not trying to. We're just trying yep. to educate ourselves and educate our viewers. Yep. So I really do appreciate your time and thank you for coming on. The McCain campaign uh, said it believed the exchange was over the line. As a result, the interview with Larry King was pulled. <laughs> CNN does not believe Campbell's interview was over the line. We are committed to fair coverage of both sides in this election. By the way, you can see the entire interview at CNN.com. We hope Senator McCain will join us here on CNN in the near future. But let's discuss this whole issue. Campbell is here right now. I watched it twice. I thought it was your questioning was totally appropriate. I had no problem with any of the questions you asked. And, and frankly, I was surprised that the McCain campaign reacted. With, with, they were so sensitive to that exchange. I've seen a lot worse, obviously, on television. <laughs> Certainly. Um, I was a little surprised myself. Obviously, I don't think it was over the line. We um, that, was, that was a shortened version of a much longer exchange. We've been going back and forth over this issue, which was ultimately about her experience. I think Senator McCain very legitimately made experience a, a huge issue in this campaign. Um, talking about the experience gap between him and, and Barack Obama, rightly so. It exists, which I think, you know, set a different standard. So going into, um, you know, when they made their VP pick, uh, VP pick announcement, I, I think it made it a legitimate issue to say, well, well why aren't you play, applying that same standard to your choice for vice president? And what that exchange was about was one of the talking points that we had heard repeatedly from the McCain campaign, that her foreign policy experience um, was part of her time as commander in chief of the Alaska National Guard. And all I was trying to do was say, well, then tell me what that means. What does that mean? Uh, did she make a decision? Did she pass judgment on something? Did she do something uh, the, the obvious something answer in that to that is, well, yes, she deployed it on such and such a date, but there was not that answer. Ask for that VP talk all the time. I tell you, I still can't answer that question until, until somebody answers for me. What is it exactly that the VP does every day?